lagi jadi sering with another video and today we're gonna take a look at uh, project android slash starball uh, from gen 2 uh, it's basically allows you to use gen 2 prefix in your android terminal which is pretty cool to do this you need to of course be rooted because if you're not rooted then basically you're just modifying uh, part of your system and not your uh, root directory so that's kind of useless <laughs> and then uh, next part you need a uh, busy box which is uh, and that is uh, newer than version of 1.17 i have already have that installed and uh, the tarball that you'll need uh, is uh, depending on your cpu device uh, you can install cpu info and i don't know in your app store or F droid they have it and here i'd say that i have arm 64 v8a or if you don't want to install that yeah, you can also just check it in termux in your terminal emulator and uh, run the uname the same command and you will see that uh, you have arch 64 which is another way of saying arch 64 in g uh, in gnu c compiler and uh, to do this uh, of course you, you just need to run su i have already run that so i'm gonna skip that and yeah uh, you, you need bc box by the way so make sure you have that installed I, i'm using magis 23.0 here i already have bc box installed and uh, just ignore the other one you, you don't need those and you can actually use this link if you want to uh, copy link address and then bc box w get that but uh, yeah. let's just do with this tutorial because it's easier that way so cd and paste that in oh yeah uh, by default uh, your root directory is gonna be uh, read only so make sure you want to you remount that remount does uh, r does o uh, to read and write oh wait not not mount eh, not remount but mount oh my god <laughs> fuck mount uh, does o r w and then remount the slice which is your root directory so after that you can run this and everything will be fine now obviously this is gonna have gonna take you to have an internet access so make sure you have that and uh, this is gonna take some time so i'll be ready when it's back i mean i'll be ready when it's done <laughs> Uh, I'm so bad at saying this. I'll be back when it's done, but as you can see, it's it's not taking that long. But yeah, I, I don't want to waste your precious time. Uh, once that is done, you ca you need to untar it. So we're gonna need busy box again, and we're gonna tar it into the this one in the slice data directory mm. so uh, you just uh, you make sure that it has already installed the prefix stage 3 uh, and then you can just you know uh, run that uh, antar and then it's gonna uh, take some time uh, it's not going to give you any output but it is what it is and then it's gonna make this ls slice data slice if you use the arm 7 arm v7 uh, uh, you should uh, use the uh, this gen 2 prefix slice data slice gen 2 it's gonna have uh, the 32 number but mine is going to have uh the 64 number here 
as you can see there alright so to run it you just uh, dot slice start prefix and as you can see we are already in the gen2 directory or oh no sorry not gen2 the gen2 prefix so you can run emerge webr sync to sync your repository of course i'm kidding <laughs> you, you can do that uh, but you can run this to sync the repository instead instead now of course this is equals to you know emerge webr things it's gonna take some time so uh, you also maybe want to check out this in etsy portage etsy portage uh, let's see etsy portage make dot conf uh, you'll see that uh, you can also modify the make ops here i have four ram and uh, i guess <laughs> I, I should use the make ops uh, of G job 2 and uh, loader uh, 2 as well but uh, I'm, yeah I'm just gonna leave this be if you have 8 RAM you should m maybe want to modify that to uh, 4 so that's J4 or not that's but hyphen hyphen uh, J4 and hyphen L4 but minus you know I have four RAM, so I'm just gonna run this. So let's re sync our repository. So run that command, and this is going to take a long time. So just make sure you have something else to do in the meantime. I don't know, like uh, watching Netflix or whatever you do in your spare time. Uh, this <laughs> this is going to take a while. So I'm gonna pause it again, and I'll be ready. Uh, wait, I'll be back when it's done. I said that correct this time. <laughs> All right. Once you have uh, finished uh, compiling the emerge webr sync or emain sync that's a, uh, you can uh, now actually use emerge. You know, uh, you can use the Gen two portage system. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the iselect first iselect uh, profile iselect profile list profile list iselect key profile list and let's see if I will get any output okay so, so there's only one okay that's understandable uh, and then uh, if I want to modify the use like let's see emerge I'll run this command emerge this info grab use let's see okay <laughs> god damn those are lots of use flag bro okay so it's until this line wait let me oh my <laughs> bro let me just fucking copy it bro okay so until this line so th this is uh here's the deal with gen2 and use flag uh in gen2 uh, you you ha you have actually this make.conf so portage by default uh uh you you can configure it yourself here with your use flag and I'm just gonna paste this in here and basically uh, oops basically you can uh, modify your use flag like uh, if you don't want to have <coughs> any courses you can uh, just minus this and uh, you will not be able to uh you will not be able to install anything that is uh that ha uh, that has dependency on anchors uh packages okay so that's how it is uh, 
and this is just good to keep in mind because maybe if you don't want a uh, support for Unicode in uncommended line for SSL as well because who the fuck needs <laughs> internet right and th- this is basically how oops this is basically how use flags work in Gentoo and actually I'm gonna just uncomment this uh, I'm gonna minus KDE minus X as well uh, minus is it X on X minus uh, GNOME because I'm not going to be using uh, any I'm not going to be using any uh, desktop environment obviously now uh, as you can see oh shit it doesn't have zero off um, well uh, let, let's do the most crucial thing first we merge it as Q, as Q and uh, let's install NeoFetch because that's obviously what the cool kid is going to share uh, to their friends these days so uh, just let emerge by the way this key option the, this is for the quiet option so you don't have uh, you don't get any weird and f- you don't get a verbose uh, thing verbose what is it called verbose installation stuff so it's just going to uh, print out the image and installing so it, it has a nicer output and uh, probably going to save up uh, some, some of your CPU and <laughs> looks already done it's that fast so uh, neo fetch here I'm gonna oops okay let's uh, okay so as you can see uh, it's going to print out it's gonna fetch your host uh, so I'm using the realme 5e with a biofrost kernel and the resolution is 720 times 1900 1600 with 75 uh, refresh rate and 1125 94 whatever I don't get what that means but uh, my CPU using 1.8 gigahertz uh, that, that's pretty cool you can fetch your uh, thing here and then uh, I actually want to install GROF as well here and then maybe uh, we're gonna uh, so if you don't know actually GROF is uh, GNU trough it's basically uh, a, there are lots of uh, people that has already talked about it. Girov. Uh, here uh, you you can read some documentation. Uh, it's a type setting system that reads plain text mixed with formatting commands. Uh, output. Uh, in default is in post postscript but you can also uh, convert it to pdf uh, so yeah it, it's pretty uh, i think it's a pretty versatile uh, command and uh, you can install it in your gen well, in your android system because this is not actually gen2 it's just android but with gen2 prefix so th- this is uh, one thing that I can see being useful uh, for the for this Gen 2 uh, prefix. Other than that, I don't know. Maybe if you want to install MPD and NCMPCPP for maybe your music, but I I don't think it's gonna be that uh, useful because I'm just gonna control C this one because uh if you see uh, uh, in this one uh by default android already runs using 2183 uh, max of ram so that's damn that's lots of ram right 
and uh, there is actually one thing that I want to share here. If you run LSBLK, uh, you will get uh, the mounting point of your partition, and I was just mesmerized by this at first glance because I I only have two thing here. I have my MMC BLK zero, which is my main uh my internal drive, and then this this one MM MMC BLK one, which is my uh, external drive, mounted to media air uh right and right, and then of course Z RAM for swap, and the thing with this is that uh. There is this mount point that I was really converse, concerned about. Well, it's not only that mount point, but all of this. Because uh, if you see in Linux, uh, you don't get lots of this partition. This is a 67, 67 total partition that uh, they're using. I mean, of course, some of them are uh, used by Magis here for my root. But even just a uh, 50 partition of this is already a lot i don't know what all of this is for but uh i don't know man it's kind of sus uh, android is kind of kind of suspicious huh to be doing all of this behind our backs and also uh, it's good to keep in mind that it has mount slice mount slice fender slice oppo reserve uh, let's see, mon size fender, slice oppo, the, already in the name oppo reserve, that's already sus to me because uh, I'm using realme which is a sub brand of oppo and uh, I think that's fucking weird, <laughs> well maybe it's just me though uh anyway and uh, that is um my video or maybe my guide of you know installing gen2 prefix in your uh in your what is it in your android my uh, don't forget to share and give a thumbs up if you like it uh, and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya